What's up YouTube? Got a question on the uh, parable of the talents and thought we could uh, talk about that real quick. So in the parable of the talents, we have the master um, giving the servants uh, three talents and then leaves and comes back. So the master is Christ, we are the servants, and uh, him coming back is judgment day. So to the first one, he gives five talents. To the second, he gives three. And to the third, he gives one. The first one uh, yields five. The second one uh, yields three. And the third one yields nothing. He buried it in the ground. The meaning of the parable uh, is in the text. What's going on with the talents? Well, the first two acted from faith. They did as uh, they were commanded not to be justified, but because they are justified. They acted from faith and yielded a return on what God had invested in them. And the Lord, notice the three, the five, the three, and the one. The Lord gives to each as he knows each can handle. So obviously the last guy only got one because the Lord knows he can only handle one. Now, um, the first two... You know, the first guy uh, yielded five, the second guy yielded three, but the last one who yielded one, it's in his confession. You know, he blames the Lord for his own problems. He blames the Lord for everything, and we can see that he is faithless. So he did not yield a return on what God had gave him, but rather despised God, just like uh, the old Adam in us always does. So he wasn't acting from the spirit like the first two, he was acting from the flesh. He was faithless. And that's why he enters into judgment. That's why the Lord says, you wicked servant. You should have put my uh, money in the bank and then I would have yielded at least a return from the interest. So we can see in the parable of the talents, this is not about works. It's about the confession. First two from faith and the last one from unbelief. Until next time, like, subscribe, and share these videos. Until next time, grace, yo.